Hi everyone, welcome to Communispond's webinar, Five Things to Look For When Choosing a Virtual Instructor-Led Public Speaking Program. It can be very overwhelming when analyzing virtual instructor-led public speaking programs, so we've compiled a list of the top five things to look for when choosing the best virtual instructor-led public speaking program. My name is Jessica Brown, and I'm excited to be your host today. Before we get started, I just wanted to cover a few items. We are recording today's session, so following the conclusion of the webinar, you will receive an email with a link to the recordings and also the slides. And we will be projecting our webcam, so if you don't see our streaming webcams currently, just expand the Participants tab in the upper right portion of your screen. And we're very interested in your questions. So there is a Q&A icon in the upper right portion of your screen, so please select that icon to submit your questions throughout the webinar, and we'll answer as many as we can towards the end. So finally, at the end of today's session, we'll be drawing names for an Android tablet and also a gift certificate good for an open enrollment session of executive presentation skills anywhere. The gift certificate can also be used as a $1,550 credit towards a corporate program. And I'll reach out to the winners via email after the webinar. So before I introduce to you the presenters, I want to quickly introduce to you Communispond if this is your first time joining us. Communispond has been the leader in professional skills training for 48 years. And we offer solutions in five core competencies, communication performance solutions, leadership skills, sales performance solutions, executive communication coaching, and business skills solutions. And Communispond has a strong global presence with 12 offices worldwide, over 75 global faculty, and delivering programs in over 19 different languages. So now I'd like to welcome today's presenters, Carol Boehner Guin and Wayne Termel. Carol, would you like to introduce yourself? Thanks, Jess. Sorry, I had a little bit of trouble with the mic there. Hi, I'm Carol Boehner Guin. I'm the Vice President of Products and Services here at Communispond. And I've been with Communispond since 2006, and I've certainly seen changes in the training industry over that time coming from videotaping on VHS tapes through DVDs, now using tablets, SD cards, and moving into the virtual world. I'm pleased to be with you today. Thank you, Carol. And we also have Wayne presenting today. Wayne is a longtime Communispond faculty member and an expert in communication and presentation skills, particularly as they apply to the online world. Wayne, would you introduce yourself? Hi, everybody. Greetings from a currently nice and soon-to-be thunderstormy Chicago. Uh, lovely to be with you. I have been with Communispond since, I think, 2000. It's all a bit of a haze. But, uh, like Carol, has just seen immense changes in the way these courses uh, are led. So before we get started, and we're going to get into the five things that you should be looking for, it will be really helpful to uh, share some background and information about public speaking programs in general, in particular, virtual instructor-led programs. So Carol, why don't you start? What are the benefits of public speaking programs in general? Thanks, Wayne. Talking a little bit about the benefits, there are benefits to the company, and there are benefits to you as an individual as well. Let's start with the company. So company benefits include clear, concise, and compelling messages, better audience response, less recommunication, and improved credibility. How about for the individuals? So for the individual benefits, career enhancement, greater confidence, reduced nervousness, which we all get when we're in a public speaking, speaking situation, you have a powerful presence, your content will be more engaging, and finally, you'll have a more persuasive delivery. So Wayne, can you tell the audience what VILT is? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, on a macro level, it's simply an acronym for virtual instructor-led training. What that means on a practical level is it's not a webinar. <laughs> it's, 
it's not a passive learning experience. It's actually live training, synchronous. Everybody's online at the same time. There's a live instructor. It's just that the instructor and the participants may not be in the same location. You're using internet technologies like webcam and chat and whiteboards and things like that. So we actually have a poll uh, which is going to help us uh, tailor this conversation to the specific needs of the folks on it. And it's really a pretty simple question. The question is, have you participated in a VILT class? And again, we specify a live interactive learning experience, not a webinar. So if folks would take a moment, just push the appropriate response, yes or no, and then hit submit. We will take a moment. And we also want to remind you that we want to take your questions if you want to get them in queue as we go, whether about virtual instructor-led training in general or this specific program that we'll be discussing. Uh, get your questions in queue so we make sure we get to them for you. Great. Looks like everyone's responded. So I'm going to close the poll and share the results with you guys. Excellent. And as we look here, it, it appears that most of you have, in fact, participated in virtual instructor-led training before. That's great. That's going to uh, simplify the conversation and allow us to get pretty directly into a little bit deeper weeds. The big thing that we want to be aware of, and, and a misconception a lot of people have, is that VILT actually can have some significant advantages over traditional co-located training. And so let's take a look at some of those advantages now. Uh, the first, not surprisingly, is that it's more convenient. Uh, as you can imagine, people don't have to leave their desks. They don't have to travel. Uh, anybody who had to get on an airplane yesterday knows, never mind the cost, which certainly is uh, high and legitimate, just the logistics of trying to get from place to place. And so the fact that it eliminates the need for travel is really important. Now, the other thing about VILT that we need to discuss is that it is not what we consider e-learning. When we talk about e-learning, e-learning is traditionally asynchronous. It's self-paced. Participants primarily learn at a computer or a screen by themselves rather than with other people. And the fact is that virtual instructor-led training is more engaging. It's hard for people to stay engaged for long periods of time. Uh, there's no accountability, for example, uh, with uh, asynchronous learning. Most people prefer to learn from other people. Now, let me ask you, in your experience, since most of you have participated before in virtual instructor-led training, in your experience, has VILT been more effective than co-located tra co training, just as effective, uh, less effective, or you're not sure or you don't have an opinion yet, which, by the way, is a perfectly valid response. So we'll give you a moment. In your experience, how effective? has virtual instructor-led training been? I'll give you guys just another second to get your responses in, and then I'll close the poll. OK. I'm going to close the poll and share the results with you guys. And there you go. So. Uh, not surprisingly, there's a fairly healthy group who feel that it's less effective or they don't know yet. Uh, interestingly, people who have a lot of experience with VILT tend to believe it's as effective or even more effective than co-located training. Those with limited experience, there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of things that they are worried about, and we're always worried about the unknown. Uh, we, of course, believe that virtual instructor-led training can certainly be as effective, even for soft skills and things like public speaking, which is not something that we frequently think of. Uh, 
Given this, we'd like to share with you five things that you need to keep in mind when choosing a virtual instructor-led program, particularly one for public speaking skills. So, Carol, why don't you kick it off? What's the first thing that people should be looking out for? Thanks, Wayne. Well, the first thing we recommend that you look for is a VILT public speaking program that's easy to access. And Wayne's going to take a minute now and show us an example of that. Yeah, I, I am going to, in fact, show you this, uh, how easy it is. This is our portal to Munispawn Digital. It's not particularly, uh, don't worry about the URL, learners receive a link in the pre-work that takes them there. They'll sign in, they'll use their username and password like any good learning portal. Oops. And not a big deal, we just need to, there we go, enter that again. And on Communispond virtual, uh, Communispond digital rather, uh, the courses are listed. In this case, we have one course, Executive Presentation Skills Anywhere. Uh, with that, you click that and you come to all of these tiles, which are include things like the classroom and the pre-work and the certificate of completion for download and all of that good stuff. Uh, we'll talk about some of these features in a moment. But what you do is you simply click the virtual classroom and that takes you to the online program. In this case, we use a program called Jigsaw, which we'll show you in a little bit. But that's it. They're in the class, they're ready to go. So Carol, what's the second thing then that they wanna look for? So the second thing we recommend you look for is choosing a VILT public speaking program that's highly engaging and well paced. And Wayne's going to talk a little bit more about engagement and pacing. Wayne? Yeah, online facilitation is really critical that the instructors know what they're doing, the program is properly designed, and that we keep people engaged because in a physical classroom, it's easy to get kind of bored or overwhelmed and tune out. Online, it's even easier when you don't have the instructor staring at you, you don't have to worry about hurting their feelings, and there's email and all kinds of other distractions going on. Online, it's easier for people to lose focus. Therefore, it's even more important that not only the courseware and the visuals engage, but the facilitator do an excellent job of it, that. And that's one of the reasons that for this program, we use Jigsaw. Uh, Jigsaw has a number of features that enhance engagement, and we're gonna go back and take a look at that right now and take a look at some of those engagement tools. This is the Jigsaw screen, and as you can see, there are seven, eight, I don't even know at any exact moment, how many particular screens there are that add to the engagement. So we're gonna tell you about some of these tools. And Jessica, actually, uh, there's something you wanna tell folks before we get into the weeds here. Yes. Thank you, yes. Before you work, walk everyone through the layout of the platform, I just wanted to jump in and mention that I will be sending out a link to a video that will actually show the different themes of the platform in action. So I'll be sending that link in the email that you'll be getting at the end of the webinar later today. So I just wanted to let you know that you will also be getting that. So Wayne, back over to you. Okay, thanks. Now, before we get into this, I want you to think about presentation skills and how we teach presentation skills, right? Uh, there is video recording. There are a lot of things that you may not think are doable in an online environment, but actually Jigsaw allows us to do that. So let's take a look at the very first window and you can see that it's video. It's webcam enabled, uh, the participant and the uh, learners can actually see each other and that view can be changed to a single view or multiple camera view. But what's really critical in terms of public speaking classes is that you can also record using that pane so that you can record people's presentations and you can also play recorded videos. The second pane is 
the one we're familiar with, the one we're using here in WebEx as an example, that's where the course visuals are, the slides. And of course, there are annotation tools and other things that the instructor can use to enhance engagement there. Pane three is for notes. And this is, again, a feature of Jigsaw that we have found uh, really helpful. The participants can take their own notes on the screen in real time, but you can also capture notes as a group uh, so that everybody has access to the results of brainstorms and things like that. Uh, screen four is the whiteboard and a lot of interactivity. Uh, participants can watch their videos on screen four, which is really helpful. There are also live external links to things like handouts and uh, other tools that they're going to use, evaluation forms. So screen four uh, looks like a pretty standard screen, but there's actually a lot of interactivity and engagement built in there. Uh, screen five, you can see who's on the program, and that not only allows them to control their own webcams and microphones as the needs of the class dictate, you know as well as I do that sometimes there's background noise, barking dogs, crying coworkers. Uh, we need to be able to man manage that. The instructor can also manage that themselves and control the participants' webcams and microphones. Uh, Slide six is public chat, a way for people to engage. One of the things that we have discovered in virtual instructor-led training is rather than being a distraction and something you want to minimize, chat is an extremely valuable component for engagement, for people participating and offering value to each other in the class, uh, much more so than simply an audio environment. And then finally, at the very bottom, there's downloads associated with the class. You can imagine these are things like handouts, worksheets, uh, extra reading that, that gets assigned. So all of these tools are, are not about using technology for the sake of technology, but enhancing engagement, uh, making sure that this is a really engaging, interactive learning experience, and that you know, participants don't become screen fatigued, frankly. Uh, so the pace of the course is really important as well. And so let's take a look at how our particular course, Executive Presentation Skills Anywhere, is built and designed to help participants. It's a two-day program, really a day and a half, I guess, if you think total seat time. Uh, but we've developed it this way because we know what the limits of the human brain and seat uh, are. Uh, so day one is two sessions. Uh, each session is half a day. It's basically three hour long chunks in each session. So day one has two sessions, and then each of those sessions has three modules with breaks in between, and there's a pretty substantial uh, break at midday between session one and session two. That's designed to help human beings recharge, uh, check their work so that they're not distracted by what's happening in the outside world. And then day two is one session of three one-hour modules. Um, so that's how the engagement, as well as taking into account uh, the fatigue and engagement factor are included. Carol, why don't we talk about the third thing that people should be looking for? Sure, Wayne, thanks. The third thing that we feel is important in choosing a VILT public speaking program is that it has individual recording and playback. Behavioral change happens because you see yourself. So Wayne's going to talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, it's funny. When we think about presentation skills, we think about videotaping. And, and it's funny. We've been teaching public speaking for 3,000 years since the Greeks. But in fact, Communispond back in the late 60s was one of the first companies to incorporate it. So we know how important it is. And it's essential for the learner to see and hear at them as the audience sees and hears them. And that's difficult to do in an online environment. But that awareness is what helps drive real behavior change and 
eliminate habits that make their presentation less powerful. Now, earlier I mentioned that using Jigsaw, we can actually record a participant in real time and they can watch their recording immediately thereafter, which is something that a lot of platforms simply don't allow for. So uh, we're going to show you what a recording looks like. This is somebody doing one of the exercises in the program. So uh, go ahead, Jess, if you want to play that video. When I'm talking about my dog and how she's learned how to escape the yard, my neighborhood has started to nickname her El Chapo. She can just Okay. Now, those of you who know executive presentation skills probably recognize that is the iBrain control recording. Um, and, and it's really important that we be able to record and play back in real time. So participants can do their exercise as they would in a traditional class. They can then view the recording, use a self-evaluation form to kind of take a look at what's working and what's not. And what's really interesting is they can receive private feedback from both the facilitator, the course facilitator, and the other participants in class, just as they would in a traditional co-located class. So it's very close to reliving that co-located experience. So it's engaging, it's paced properly, it has all the capabilities of doing what we need to do. Carol, what's the fourth thing? that people ought to look for? So the fourth thing that we believe you should look for when choosing a VILT public speaking program is that it's taught by highly trained and experienced facilitators. And I'd like to expand on that a little bit. I'd like to talk a little bit about our certification process. In order for someone to teach our public speaking program that is VILT or the co-located program, we use the following process. First, they have to participate. The participation allows them to get a feel for what the actual students are experiencing in the classroom. Then they spend up to three days training with a master trainer. In this process, they're learning how to manage the classroom, model the skills, tell the, speak the briefings, manage the exercises, and coach. Next, they co-teach the program. So they actually, with the master trainer, choose specific modules or topics, and they teach them. The master trainer teaches the others. And finally, they are the lead facilitator in a program, which means they are going to be teaching it with the master trainer in the background, observing, and also there for support. So now they're certified to teach our co-located program, Executive presenta Presentation Skills. To become certified to teach Executive Presentation Skills anywhere, we use the same process, which might seem redundant, but it's important that they experience the differences. So first, they participate. Now they're in the virtual environment, and they see what it's like for a participant to be in that environment and what they experience. Then they spend time with a master trainer again, up to three days, learning classroom management. And again, now they're in a virtual environment. There's more to do in a virtual environment. It might seem easier because you don't have to be up in front of people. It's harder. 
They learn all of those skills. They're still modeling all of the skills that you would see in the co-located program. They co-teach as an assistant. And finally, they co-teach as the lead. So that's the way we certify our folks. And you know, there's, there's no doubt that you need to know the subject matter. You also need to be able to transfer that to the online environment, which is not easy as those of us who teach online can, can attest. Uh, so what's the fifth component that we need to, to watch out for? So the fifth component is actually something that's near and dear to Wayne's heart. And that is choose a VILT public speaking program that has dedicated tech support. And Wayne's going to talk a bit about that from firsthand experience. Yeah, absolutely, Carol. It's easy to say that, you know, facilitation is facilitation, whether you're at the front of the room or online. But the fact is, we are working mediated through technology, not only ourselves as the instructors, and that impacts our ability to be good facilitators, but for the learner as well. So it's really important that we remove the distraction of the technology, that we not add to the learner's stress. So in order to do that, we have a dedicated technical support person for each class, somebody who is there basically running under everything with a net, making sure that people can connect that their audio is working, that if something happens, it doesn't cause panic. And most importantly, that's before the session, when people are planning and trying to join, during the session, so that somebody has a problem and it doesn't become a distraction for the whole class, as well as after the session, utilizing the online resources, Communispawn Digital, the Learn Tos, other things that we're going to talk about. The important thing is that the technology doesn't become a distraction and that particularly participants have the assistance they need to focus on their learning. So we just covered five things. Carol, you want to kind of go through those again and wrap them up for us? Sure. So in summary, choose a VILT program, speaking program, a VILT public speaking program that is easy to access, that is highly engaging and well-paced, that allows individual recording and playback, that is taught by highly trained and experienced facilitators, and finally, that has dedicated technical support. But I'd like to sneak in a sixth criteria as well, and that is choose a VILP public speaking program that is offered by a company with a proven track record that guarantees results. So now that you know what the criteria is for selecting a VILT public speaking program, I'd like to introduce you to our public speaking program, EPS, or Executive Presentation Skills, anywhere. We've talked a bit about it already, but I'd like to talk a little bit more about it. So here you see professionals engaged in three different situations where they're actually speaking in public. The first, on the left, is a gentleman speaking to a large group. In the middle, you're going to see a woman seated at a table and speaking to a smaller group. And finally, there's a one-on-one -on -one situation over to the right. Since 1969, thousands of professionals have participated in executive presentation skills, our co-located program. And this is a two-day class. It trains business people to develop persuasive presentations. So I mentioned co-located, which means people are in the same location. We recognized at Communispond that we needed to move into the digital age and provide an option for people who couldn't be co-located but still wanted to learn the skills that we provide. And so we took our flagship program, Executive Presentation Skills, moved it to a digital platform, and that's how EPS Anywhere came to be. As shown here, the combined benefits of a public speaking program and VILT became EPS Anywhere. We've been offering this virtual program for three years now. It covers exactly the same skills that you would learn in the co-located program, but everybody's in a different location. They may be in different offices around the country. They may be on different continents around the world. 
They use their computer to participate in the virtual classroom in that jigsaw environment that you saw. I do want to emphasize one specific thing, and that is EPS Anywhere teaches public speaking skills in a virtual environment. We are not teaching virtual presentation skills. So Wayne, could you tell us a little bit about how participants learn in EPS Anywhere? Yeah, it's really important when you move to a virtual environment that we maintain good learning methodology, right? That we adhere to how adults learn and not get overly constrained by the de delivery method. So it starts, as most good training does, with self-awareness. Uh, what are we seeing and doing? What's the audience seeing and hearing us do? And as in a co-located program, we do that through video recording and instant playback. Uh, you can do a baseline recording and get feedback instantly, just as you would in the live class. Then, once I'm aware of what I need to work on, I have to learn new skills. We, that's the lecture, the demonstration, the, the learning component, if you will, and we do that through not only lecture, but also demonstrating, and, and then there has to be practice. These are motor skills. You can't think your way to good gestures and proper stance. It requires practice, so interaction, exercises, breaking the larger skills down into smaller chunks, just as we've always done, and then those small chunks in that practice requires coaching and feedback if it's going to be effectively reinforced and corrected. So that requires in the moment instructor coaching as well as feedback from the peers. Both watching and offering feedback to your peers often reinforces your own skill set. And we've known that for years in the classroom, those learning methodologies need to be applied to the online environment. And then once the class itself is over, you need to reinforce those skills. And this is where technology actually is really helpful. Uh, we have a couple of reinforcement tools, uh, Learn Tools and what we call the tip card. Again, these are on the Communispond digital platform. Learn Tools are short videos that reinforce certain skills, uh, as well as tip cards and reminders and other forms of reinforcement and job aids. Now, EPS Anywhere has been very, very well received, and it's easy for us to say that because that's our job, but uh, participants have been very impressed, including some very skeptical participants. So let's take a look at what a couple of people have said. Uh, the key things here, without reading them word for word and making you crazy, is that they love interacting with the virtual platform and that everything worked. Uh, between the platform and the assistance from the TA, it allowed them to actually learn. And as a lot of you are, as we found out in the poll, some of us are still, still skeptical about the virtual instructor-led format. Uh, but participants have been very surprised by how effective the actual skills transfer has been. So uh, Jeff is going to tell you more about the program in a moment. I know that we have a couple of questions in queue. We really, really want to make sure that we have a chance to answer them. So while Jessica tells you a little bit more, uh, Carol and I are eagerly awaiting the chance to answer your questions and get really more specific. Uh, about both virtual instructor-led training and this program. So Jess, take it away. Thank you, Wayne. Yes, if you have any questions or you would like to experience executive presentation skills anywhere, you can contact Communispond at www.communispond.com forward slash contact. The link is displayed on your screen right there. Uh, someone at Communispond will be in touch with you within one business day to assist you. So if you decide EPS Anywhere is the right fit for you and or your organization, we offer two enrollment options. We offer open enrollment options and corporate and open enrollment, uh, corporate enrollment options for EPS Anywhere to meet your unique needs. Open enrollment programs are best for individuals. Up to 12 individuals from different organizations are able to attend EPS Anywhere at any of the predefined times. 
The upcoming dates are up on your screen for July, August, and September. Thank you, Wayne. Uh, you will be able to find all the dates by going to CommunitasFund.com and selecting the Public Seminars tab in the upper right portion of your screen. So if your organization is interested in enrolling multiple people for EPS Anywhere, the corporate enrollment option would be the best option for you. And we would set up programs at times that are convenient for you and your organization. So now you might be wondering, what is the cost of the program? So the cost of the open enrollment program is typically $1,550 per participant, but we actually have a limited time promotion going on that can save you up to $500 on any July or August open enrollment seminar right now. And that includes the in-person seminars, not just the virtual seminars. So, and if you're interested in a corporate enrollment program, you can find out what the cost would be for you and your organization by talking with an account director. And again, you can fill out the contact us form on our website and someone will uh, reach out to you within 24 hours. So as I said at the beginning of the webinar, we have two door prizes. I'll be drawing the names as soon as we log off and I'll reach out to the winners via email. So at this time, I'd like to turn it over to Wayne and Carol to answer any questions. So let me take a look and I know we have a couple that came in. So the first question is, is there any difference in the public content versus if it is offered at, at a company? So is there any difference between the two programs, whether we teach it publicly or in a company setting with a group? No, there really isn't any difference there. I think what you might find is in a public program, you're going to see a variety of different examples, et cetera. When it's, when it's offered at a corporate site, then obviously we can customize on the fly. Basically, we're tailoring it on the fly because people bring in their real world examples. So an intact group would be discussing things that they all experience all the time. However, the skills taught in the program are exactly the same regardless of the environment. Thank you, Carol. Another question is, what would you say is the toughest challenge for an instructor to go from instructor-led training to virtual instructor-led training? Oh, that's like my favorite topic ever. <laughs> uh, it, it's funny because the analogy that I always use, Jessica, is have you ever been driving, and you're an experienced driver, and you're driving late at night, and it's pouring down rain, and you're trying to find an address, so you have to turn down the radio so you can see better? That's what it's like when we're presenting online. And for uh, classroom instructors, experienced classroom instructors who literally don't think about what we do, it is so ingrained, it's such muscle memory, we're so unconsciously competent that becoming hyper aware of our environment and not receiving many of the cues that we're used to receiving, eye contact, body language, some of those things, really creates a dissonance that has instructors getting in their own head. So it's really critical, two things. One is that an instructor understand their courseware and how to facilitate and all of that. But it's also critical that they are comfortable enough in the virtual environment to have developed the muscle memory so that our brains can relax and focus on the things that we know we should be doing as educators. And so that need to get the experience, to get it under your belt. There's no way to move from the classroom to virtual effectively without developing those muscles. And that requires practice and training and awareness. And the good news about CommuniSpawn virtual programs, whether it's this one or uh, virtual meeting skills, is that the instructors have already made that leap. Uh, and of course, we can help your instructors do the same, but um, that's the thing is it, it's that time period between taking what you know and do already and being uh, good in the classroom environment that there's no shortcut around. Thank you, Wayne. And it looks like we have one more question. Again, if anybody has any last minute questions, we still have time, so please send those over. Uh, let's see, the question is, do students of EPS Anywhere have access to continue learning after the conclusion of the course? 
Like for example, do they have access to the trainer if they need reinforcement or have any questions? So do the learners have reinforcement and options for contacting a trainer after the course? The answer is yes, they do. Via CommuniSpond Digital, you have a mastery checklist. You have something called Learn Tos, and the Learn Tos are brief video reinforcement or extension of the learning that allows you to refresh for something like Wayne mentioned eye brain control. That's a skill that we teach. So there is a learn to to refresh that skill so that you can look at it. You also can extend your learning. So there are learn to's for something like planning a team presentation or leading a discussion. Those extend the learning beyond the situation that you learned in the class, but still build on those same skills. And we're very excited that very soon we're going to have a new option on CommuniSpond Digital, which is ask a CommuniSpond coach. So you'll be able to actually contact a CommuniSpond coach via CommuniSpond Digital, and the coach is one of our master trainers, and he'll be able to respond back. So if you have a question, he'll be able to answer you. We're really excited about that, and that'll be coming up in July. Thank you, Carol. And I think that concludes all of our questions for today. So I just wanted to say thank you very much to Wayne and Carol, our presenters today, and thank you to all who attended. And again, I will be sending out the recording and also the slides and that recording as well. So you'll see that email later today. Thank you very much and have a great day.